Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Pogazi William and today I'm doing a chit chat get ready with me, but a hair get ready with me and I'm so excited and I'm so thankful to our video sponsor, Yolissa Hair. They are the first sponsor for the year guys, so that's super exciting and that is where this beautiful, beautiful wig that I have laid in this video comes from. So yeah, if you guys want to catch up with me about where I've been and what's been happening while I lay and slay this beautiful, beautiful hair, then carry on watching. As you guys know, on this channel I'm doing hair, I will give you the breakdown and unboxing before we start. Like I said, this hair is from Yolissa and they're an online company. Today I'm going to be installing the 22 inch water wave wig and for the first time ever I'm trying an HD lace and this is a 13 by 6 inch lace and you can see the hair. Also, this came with a lot, a lot of goodies. So like the wig cap and an extra elastic, although there is one already sewn into their hair. As you guys can see, the curls like nice and tight and very, very beautiful and soft to the touch. I'm just showing you guys what I usually show you, the wig cap itself. So it has the elastic already sewed in, but the wig cap also has built in elastics. So it can be extra tight and give you that hold. Also, this is pre-bleached and pre plucked so i don't have to do a lot of work this elastic that with the velcro that's a game changer because that's for when you're laying down the wig in the front and oh my gosh it's helped so much as well as a silk scarf especially when i'm going to sleep i use it all the time and it says your list on there they also gave me these lashes which i'm wearing in the video as well as this edge control brush and like i said the wig cap like I said, this is going to be a QA. and a I'm going to be installing the wig while answering your questions. And as mentioned before, I didn't have to bleach the knots or pluck the hairline. So I'm just going into this wig as is. I'm going to install it and then we'll see how it performs. Like I said, it's an HD lay, so I'm excited to try that out. I haven't worn wigs in so long, guys, that it's like going to be an experience for me as well so i'm just going to put it on i've laid the wig cap down on this side i did some funny things because i really wanted my hairline to be close to my natural hairline as possible um but yeah let's just see how it goes okay it's a bit loose <laughs> so it is a bit loose i'd say oh that's such a good color Wait. the actual oh my gosh the knots are bleached amazingly and that looks so good the fact that i didn't have to bleach any knots and it looks so nice and natural oh my gosh yes I didn't pluck it either, which maybe I could have, but I just wanted to see me installing it as is without doing too much work. Like I said, it's my first time wearing wigs in a very long time. I'm just going to quickly clip it back and then we can start working on it. Ach, don't mind the little glue that dripped down earlier. So what I am going to do is just put some of this glue all around the perimeter. The very first question that I received was, will you marry me? Which, um, I don't know you, so <laughs> on to the serious questions. Why haven't I been on YouTube? I feel like this is one that was asked quite a few times and Basically, I just have been trying to figure out, like, do I still want to do social media? My dots aren't very clean, but I'm still going to actually properly put the glue on, you'll see. But, um, yeah, I was just trying to figure out what it is that I want out of social media if I carry on doing it and what is the direction I want to take I think I was getting tired of also like 
um, my life as is being content so like just my personal life being content which I think is like okay but I think it can be draining when the content is completely dependent on what you're doing who you're doing it with or not doing it with um, and I just found that I needed to find a balance or figure out if there is a balance and if there isn't then maybe this is not for me um, but if there is then definitely carry on doing it but then do it that way with the balance and everything so yeah I wasn't on YouTube because I was trying to figure out what are the next steps in my YouTube career what does that align with everything that I want to be doing um, and yeah just is it like still a good fit for me is it as healthy for me as what it was when I first started just things like that so that's what I was basically out figuring out out and about trying to make sense of I'm going to quickly blow dry the glue but on like a cool setting it is more or less clear and tacky and dry um, so I'm going to start to put that on let me just make sure it's all right and it's where I want it to be. Like, yeah. So, the next question is How is SSS? And for those of you who don't know, I went to an event called SSS, stands for Same Sex Saturdays, and basically, they have this event all around the country. And I went to the Cape Town one and I went by myself um, so I obviously didn't have anyone to go to but I did put on my Instagram like what like where what are places that are LGBT friendly in Cape Town and one of the responses that I got was that an SSS event is like a really cool one and there's one happening in Cape Town soon and so I got my tickets like three weeks before the event um, and to be quite honest I wasn't too sure if I'm still going to go because when the event was actually happening I was just like how am I gonna show up by myself um, and I know like last year I did also go to what's this how good is that lace though like you can't actually see the lace itself um, I did go to the Vits homecoming by myself so it's not like I'm not used to the whole idea of going anywhere by myself However, I just, I just like a little bit scared. This is from the company themselves, which is a really, really cool touch. But I was just like, I don't know if it's going to be like what I, what I want it to be, you know. Um, and also going by myself, where everyone's just like, who's this weirdo? and all of that so I was scared of that but it actually was really really fun I enjoyed it I had put like my glass of wine on a table and there was like it was a very long table and there was a whole bunch of different people and the people who were like right next to me were just like oh who did you come with and I was like oh no I'm alone they were like don't tell anyone that say that you like you're with us now you know and it was really great um, we had so much fun and I enjoyed it. Yeah, it was a good time. How has your first course of 2023 been? I would say it's been alright. Like, it's been good. I have nothing to complain about. I am in good spirits. I think I'm in a much better place than I was last year, especially last year towards the end of the year. I think I was almost fighting for my life towards the end of last year because um, of varsity. But I made it through and I passed, which is like really amazing. Uh, that's one of the things I got asked. It was how does it feel being um, a two-time graduate and also how's life been since grad? Congratulations by the way. Thank you very much. I saw all the congratulations. I really didn't know where to start answering because there were so many comments, but I really do appreciate it. Thank you guys. And yeah, it feels it feels good. I think this one I was like super 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 excited for um, because I had chose in my adulthood. I wasn't just a teenager who chose to go study. I chose in my adulthood to go back and you know attain another qualification, which I think is 
it just means a lot more when you are choosing to like go back and it's not out of obligation of I need to go study and this is the next step of my life naturally this should happen this should happen so I really was proud of myself um, and very happy about it I was like yeah I did that I did that I didn't do a vlog or anything because I was like Ugh, it would be a little bit redundant you know every time I do a vlog and all these things so yeah that was that was really cool and yes I am a two-time graduate so this is my honors I was graduating in a bachelor of uh, bachelor of architectural studies honors that's what i had because i saw some people um sort of had m arc which is the masters no not yet not yet and then the next question i received was why did i decide to go back onto twitter and basically you'll just have to find out on this week sunday's video i think this week sunday's video will explain it all it honestly isn't really all that deep um yeah no I'll, I'll leave it to the video or if you have actually seen my twitter account if you have actually seen my twitter account you will know what i was doing back oh look at how amazing that is also like um the tools and things that i'm using a lot of them, I got them from like Discam or like the Fiverr and store and stuff in my area. But I'll leave everything in the description box below so that you can know exactly where I'm getting everything from. Because I just want to do a more chit chat, get ready with me while I do a super easy to apply wig. Oh, it's been so long since I've applied a wig from scratch like this. Wow, it feels like riding a bike. <laughs> I need to fix that a little bit. Um, so I'm just going to use a little bit of got to be glue. It's on its last ends, honestly. Even though it's spraying, it's like all over. I'm just going just to get that done. And then I'm probably going to use the little, use this again while that dries. It's so convenient as well. To answer another question, I was asked, do I prefer experiencing life in Joburg or Cape Town? Um, I think I now prefer Cape Town like way more than Joburg. I used to be a ride or die for Joburg, but not anymore, no. The culture's just shifted, actually. Like, think about it. The culture has just shifted so much in Joburg. Um, especially now that, like, I used to, obviously, in Joburg, my friends were, like, my varsity friends. But now that everyone's working and it's, like, club life and all of that, it just doesn't feel the same. And just club life in Joburg is... It's a sport. It's actually an extreme sport that I don't wish to partake in. Um, yeah, no, I just, it's just not fun, it just, I feel like you, it does too much, it's too much. Granted, club life in Cape Town is also hectic, but like in Cape Town, I wouldn't say I'm all that involved in club life, so there's also that. A lot of questions were, when am I coming back to YouTube, when am I posting a YouTube video? By the time this goes live, there will be a YouTube video up and you guys should go check it out if you already have not it was quite a fun video to shoot and it actually took a bit of a while to conceptualize and then also go and film it and you know sort of try my best to make it like really good quality and be a really good comeback video in my opinion um so yeah so go check it out it's gonna be the wine tasting um cheap versus expensive wine tasting and yeah i think it was fun to film i have some friends involved um my sister's like super involved helping with the production of it all so really enjoyed that part of it um and yeah um to many more of those and hopefully you guys do enjoy the type of content I'm going to get into because I'm definitely going to be switching up the content. Um, like I said, sometimes when content is like just dependent on me, it puts a lot of like pressure on me, but also just a little bit too much strain and stress. 
and I don't want to do that. I want to have fun with my YouTube videos. I want it to be fun. And the reason I've always enjoyed doing YouTube is because it's been always fun for me to do a YouTube video, to pick up the camera and just vlog or film a video concept or anything. So I want to go back to that sort of energy and filming videos like that that aren't that have like like a challenge sort of vibe to them. Like, you know, we're trying out different this or trying out different that. I think for me that really, really is going to be fun and it's gonna help me be more consistent and also like having a team behind me is super exciting but that's something that we'll talk about later on um, but for now yeah um, I'm gonna be back on YouTube and <laughs> I'm not gonna lie this scares me a little bit like using the braid um, so I'm just like holding my breath but yeah I'm gonna be back on YouTube uh, I am back on YouTube and you can expect content from me every week and we're gonna have fun basically we're gonna have fun and i hope you guys enjoy that energy and vibe and style and all of that moving forward most of the questions are definitely relationship questions and you know what i could have i could kind of choose to just dodge it because don't want to answer it but i suppose i do share that part of my life and i feel like it's just me being authentically myself on, on here and I'm not ashamed of that nor do I think it's a problem um, I know people, ugh, I remember last year on TikTok that it was such a big deal everyone was like yeah you're always posting and dating one thing about you you'll... and I will, I will, no I will one thing about me, I will post who I'm dating because I don't know why you're trying to hide people in the shadows have, have your people lurking in the shadows guarantee you're the one who is in the shadows in his life you're the secret um no i'm not doing that and i just don't believe in it so i'm not going to be ashamed because people are like yeah you're always doing it okay and why aren't you doing it why aren't you sharing whoever you're dating why why aren't you posting them like it's it's okay you can do that no one's going to judge you um so yeah but as far as my relationship status goes that is definitely a private thing <laughs> i do post a lot of like i post a lot of nonsense yeah i do post a lot of nonsense but like i think when i'm ready to share what's been going on or what is going on or what isn't going on then i will do so but for now take me as whatever you know whatever it is i i'm that whatever you want me to be I am that. <laughs> now that I've laid the wig and I'm happy with the way it's like sitting, I'm just trying to put it up a little bit back, but I'm very happy with like the hairline and all of that. I'm going to go ahead and put this on for one last time. I did think of doing baby hairs, but you guys know I don't like baby hairs, so I don't think I'm going to. So I'm just trying to sit this onto the lace so that I can like work on the hair going back like that what i am going to do is use some mousse and answer the next question which is would i ever date a girl again i suppose if like yeah the opportunity comes up um even like going to sss i was like yeah it'll be cool if i maybe did meet someone but like i'm not also in a space to be dating wow i'm like confusing you guys i'm like saying everything and nothing at all <laughs> at the same time <laughs> love that for me i'm going to be using the brush that they the edge control brush that they provided look at how beautiful that looks oh my gosh i'm gonna do this around the entire perimeter i think i might do like a baby hair over there you know love the way that looks i think i'm gonna wear the hair a little bit like back like that so that it can just shine i'm also gonna go in with a little bit of wax at the top to lay it flat i come from a hot comb and i'm not sure if it's in like my jobo stuff but anyway um so yeah if let's say i was in a position to be dating or something and i met a girl i would definitely date a girl there's nothing 
that I'm against. Um, so I'm going to put a little bit of mousse through the hair itself as well. Although I don't think it necessarily needs it, but I just want to give it a little bit of shine and a little bit of a, a wet look type thing going on. Very summery vibes, even though it is 100% autumn right now. Um, I don't know, I'm not letting go of summer. It's just so difficult for me to let go of summer here in Cape Town because even though it's cold, it's like the activities in Cape Town are just summer vibes, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I'm just gonna... It's gonna come up again and be like nice and and full, but for now, let's just define the, the curls as they are. Okay, then wax stick on top. I have like a lot of <laughs> wig components, even though I'm not really wearing wigs all that much anymore. But I feel like it's, this is a fun way to get back into the saddle with such a good quality wig. What's going to be my last question? Would you ever do a luncheon with your subscribers? And the person also said, I'd love to sit down and network with you. If I'm really being honest, that is something that I've probably wanted to do for years, like years and years and years, but it just never seemed feasible. I thought by now also like my channel would have grown a bit more so that I could actually host it and pay for everything. So I'm using the old school curler just to lay it down flat. But yeah, I was saying that um, I thought by now I'd be able to do it, host it, and host at least maybe like 20 subscribers. I think that would be a nice and intimate, but also a little bit bigger than just maybe like 10 subscribers. So like 20, I think 50 just becomes a lot. Like I've been to dinners with just 15 people and they also seem a bit... Um, crowded so I think yeah I think I would love to do that but I think also I just need to grow just a little bit so that I can because if I want to host something I don't know like obviously things are different now it's like when someone invites you to their birthday party at a restaurant you pay for it yourself which with the way the economy is makes complete sense but for me just the way that things I don't know were like how my parents did it is that if you're hosting even if it's at a restaurant you pay for everyone so yeah i would love to do it just if it's feasible like monetarily and the economy is not looking cute honey it's not looking cute at all so i'm just gonna let me just brush up these edges Okay, so I'm just going to add a little bit of edges here so that way I can push all the hair back and you're able to see all my piercings. I think that's really what I want to essentially capture. Me and the word essentially. Okay, so I've gone ahead and put a bit of the mousse all around the hair, but I do think I will get it a bit more fluffier. Like, I like that the curls are defined, but I want it to be a bit fluffier and all of that. Um, but now, I just want to quickly lay the hair down, like the top of it, with this wax stick and use my hot comb. I'm so scared of hot combs, guys. Uh, also, do you see how hot that is? Like, it's burning. Cause can you can you not see that? Like, the oh, you can you can see the smoke. I just need to check on camera if you can see the smoke. Oh my gosh. Basically, those are all the updates from me. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take that off. That is a melt. I just need to fix up my makeup now. But yeah, that's the update from me. I feel like there's not much in terms of change in my life, but I, I am putting in a lot more work 
and effort into my channel now that I know exactly what I want from it. This is what the lay and slay looks like. Oh my gosh. Do you guys see that? Like, honey. Honey, I did that. <laughs> I really do hope you guys enjoyed this chit chat get ready with me and having our catch up session just like all times and also don't forget to check out this hair from Yolissa and check out their website in general the hair is amazing but yeah if you like this video give it a thumbs up and also leave me down a comment down below what was that leave a comment down for me below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new here to see more content like this and also to see the sunday videos it is all going to be fun and exciting on here and i love you guys i will see you in the next one bye